Welcome back everybody. So guys, instead of uh, talking about the HTML first, I think we should talk about the environment. The place where, uh, the place we need to make in our PC to work on the, uh, on the, on its uh, complete web development program. So first of all, you need a browser. I prefer the Chrome browser. You can use Firefox or whatever you prefer. No problem. In browser for now at least. But the other thing is the code editor. Which code editor you need? You can use a lot of things like the code editor. Uh, the I'm using the Sublime for now. You can use Notepad++, which is uh, now not prefer, 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 uh Previously, I was just working on the Notepad++ continuously in multiple of my courses, but now I prefer the Sublime because it has a lot of new features. You'll be learning later in this course. So, by the way, where to get the uh, Sublime or some more code editors? I also use the Visual Studio Code. That's another awesome thing. When you're just working on JavaScript or jQuery or any other JavaScript or JS related work, you should use the uh, the Visual Studio Code. But in that case, the Sublime is again another good thing. I'm I'm using the Sublime. I'll be using the Sublime most of the time for Babli. So. Uh, another good thing in a sublime is it's actually uh, it works in a slow computer if you have some kind of low RAM or you're not having a kind of great graphic card you can use it still use a sublime but the other code editors can take a lot of space meanwhile let's just go to the browser to visit the place where we can get the browser I'm going to the google.com I actually prefer the Google maybe most of the people also prefer the Google so sublime okay just uh, type sublime and there you got it just click on sublime there's a website sublime text.com and you can see that a sophisticated text editor blah 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 a lot of things you can see there so the download for windows if you're just using not window so you'll get another thing or you just can uh, go to the download and you can get another versions like the OS X the Linux repos and EDC or the Windows 64 bit portable version also available there you just need you just simply need to download it and there are some features they are just showing us how great it is whatever I'm just gonna click on download button and then here it'll be downloading then you can simply install it no problem after the installing you will get I'm not gonna download that by the way I just want to show you so after the downloading you will get uh, the software in a list of your detailed software so you just simply can search it and uh, there like the different softwares you can get access on that and then you will get this beautiful look by the way this look won't be that much beautiful when you just first install it it will be something like uh, um, theme default theme this will be the uh, uh, yeah this will be the default theme once you will install the sublime so when you just need to go you, you just want the black theme like I had previously you just need to go to the preference and the themes and there uh, you just need to click on adaptive sublime theme by the way I've installed some other elements like uh, you can see that here if I just go to the theme the Aguila, Aguila, whatever the spelling it is the classic sublime the cobalt the Dracula the light and EDC the, they actually have some differences if I just click on the sublime classic sublime you can see that it's totally changed but it's still I prefer that one the adapted theme so it's cool and a lot of things we'll be learning about it in detail later on or you can just google about sublimes you also can have the packages you can install different kind of packages from internet from different sources so uh, the packages will make the sublime more interesting now I think we should dig into the HTML but one thing more what is the Visual Studio Code why not we just talk about the Visual Studio Code too I'm just opening that okay google.com here it is the Visual Studio Studio Code line break okay there's a Visual Studio Code you can simply download it there it is if I just go inside you can see that um, there it is it's look there it has the extensions just like the sublime has the plugins or packages it has the extension you can simply install that extensions to get uh, your uh, your code editor more extended uh, also you can download it here you can see that uh, there is a download for Windows stable build or other platform you can just visit it so this is the the Visual Studio code this is great for the JavaScripting any kind of JS solution and the sublime is best for PHP HTML and JavaScript too but absolutely we're gonna use the P we're gonna use the sublime because it's so uh, 
best solution for slow computers too. This is why I'm just making this. I'm just using the sublime and it's great too. So in the next video, we'll be talking about the HTML and actual. Stay tuned and goodbye.